The Battle of the Bulge was the largest and deadliest battle fought by the United States in World War II, and it's the second deadliest in history. Now, our next guest has a unique connection to this consequential time in history. His father saved thousands of lives and never talked about it. Author of No Surrender, Chris Edmonds, is here to discuss. Chris, thanks so much for being with me. Thank you, Alex. It's a joy to be with you. So why didn't your dad tell anybody all those years? I think it was uh, the horrific nature of the battle. Um, he just put it behind him and moved on. He, he lived in the present and the future. Uh, I also think it was part of his, uh, his generation, the greatest generation. They, they tend to, to, uh, to, to move on past World War II and they didn't talk about it till, till their later years. Dad died at the age of 65 and, and never had a chance to open up to his grandchildren, which typically happened uh, with, with that generation. Right, and so what went through your mind when you realized what you had in front of you with a story that you were gonna be able to tell? Well, I, I went into the, uh, the journey just to discover what happened to my father, never imagining that he uh, saved thousands of lives in a Nazi POW camp. Um, and so it, it's been a phenomenal journey. I've really been blessed to learn his story and be able to share it uh, with the world. Uh, never intended to write a book. And so the book kind of wrote me. I mean, the journey wrote, wrote the book. And uh, so I'm very, very grateful to, to have discovered not only dad's heroics, but the men who served with him. Uh, the thousands of men who served with him who were just as heroic as dad. Yeah, I think for any generation it's an important story to, to read and it's being compared to the likes of Unbroken, Band of Brothers, Schindler's List, etc. How does it feel for you as, as an author to be compared to those other stories? Well, it's, it's kind of mind-boggling, to be honest with you. Uh, it's not my story. It's, it's Dad's story. It's America's story. It's a generational story. Uh, I think it's humanity's story, and so it's, it's a privilege to be able to tell the story. Even when I tell the story bad, uh, it inspires people, you know. And so my, my big concern is, is don't mess it up. <laughs> I mean, it, it is a story that needs to be told. It's a timeless story. Mm -hmm. And so uh, my greatest fear is, is to trip up and, and not do, do it justice. But the, the lives of these men um, have inspired uh, their families and people in their community, just like my fathers did. And I want their lives to live on and inspire generations to come. Well, and to your point, I mean, it is such a big story that, it, like you said, even if you do tell it uh, in a way that, that isn't uh, perfect, people sort of walk away with what's important, which is it really is amazing what humans can accomplish uh, as long as their moral compass is where it should be. So, Pastor Chris Edmonds, thanks so much for your time. Thank you for having me. And they can find the book at nosurrenderbook.com, uh, nosurrenderbook.com. Thank you so much. Thank you. We'll check it out.